What's up guys, it's Chris from Squirrels Nest Outdoors. How are y'all doing today? Uh, I brought you here because I never do show you, well, I recently started doing new things to my channel and taking y'all on my ventures with me and I've had a really hard time stopping and showing you what gear I've been taking. So I decided to do a video just about that because when I get out on the trail I have a hard time stopping because I'm always wanting to explore. I'm always wanting to see what's around the next corner and it's hard to slow me down because I want to see as much as I possibly can. That and it's summertime dead summer right now so the temperatures are between 80 and 90 degrees and that's not the kind of weather that I want to stop and pull out a stove and make a pot, uh, cup of coffee I mean it's just it's too hot for that I enjoy coffee but I enjoy coffee in my air-conditioned 70 degree house um, so when it gets closer to fall or you know when I go thinking about doing some morning trips maybe we'll stop after a little ways make some coffee there pull out a stove maybe make something to eat but until it starts cooling down a little bit, I'm probably not going to be doing that much. I am going to start trying to show you my gear more. Um, but the purpose of the video is to first off show you my pack, because I don't think I've gone over that completely. There are a ton of reviews on this pack. Obviously, it's a great pack. A lot of people enjoy it. I love it. Um, and then I'm going to show you the contents. I just, I just did a new loadout, so I'm going to show you that. I haven't actually taken this loadout out yet, but y'all know what will be with me on the next trip. All right, so all right, so here's my pack. It's the Everly Stock Half Track, and this pack is in dry earth. Uh, the Half Track is 2,150 cubic inches. It weighs six pounds, seven ounces. Um, some of the features of the pack: it's got Molly all over sides, front, uh, top. It's got these. Um, side mounted compartments for two liter hydration systems. Everly Stock makes a two liter hydration system. I don't have that. I use the Camelback Omega uh, Beast Reservoir. I like a lot. It's got a wider opening so it's easier for cleaning. Um, I was going to get the Everly Stock but I opted for the Camelback instead and I'm glad I did. I love it. I mean I, I, I haven't had the Everly Stock so I can't tell you if it's not. I'm sure it's a good hydration system but I just wanted to go with the Camelback just for easier cleaning access. Um, but these are deep pockets. Um, it's got a catch-all pocket on the front, which is really handy. Right now all I've got in there is just a uh, Scotch-Brite uh, scratch-resistant high-performance cleaning cloth when I clean my lenses off. Um, when I'm on my trip, I'll throw some stuff in there, pick up some trash, or if I have any leftover trash, I'll just throw it in there. And my bladder always goes on this side, so on this side I have room for my GPS unit which is just a regular Garmin E-Trex. Um, also in this pocket right now I have a lock sack, op sack. Uh, OP stands for odor protection. Um, these bags I've talked about before, they're awesome. Uh, you can fill them up with air and stand on them and they still don't break. Um, it's like a Ziploc bag on steroids, they're awesome. But in here I've got uh, some wet wipes and toilet paper and a little film container type thing full of cotton balls. Also in this pocket I have a Caldera cone, and I'm sure you all have seen these too. This is a food grade container. Inside here is the actual Caldera cone, which is just an awesome windbreak, uh, a little alcohol stove. They designed these windbreaks specifically for the pot you have. Mine is designed for my backcountry 700 milliliter uh, pot, and these are awesome. Um, I'm going to do a video on stoves soon because I have so many stoves, especially alcohol stoves, so we'll go over that in more detail then, and I'm sure you'll see me use this a lot in the future. Uh, especially once the weather starts to cool down. Set that to the side here. And that's all I've got in this side pocket. Like I said, in this side compartment, that's where my bladder goes. So now we'll go to the top. In this top compartment, I have my Schmog. This is uh, made by Smoke Jumper. He's got a uh, vendor for him on Bushcraft USA. And this is one of his from Real Tree. I think he makes uh, just regular military style camo as well. I've got these vaults bags. These are really light bags. Uh, and this one is my fire kit. And I've got some tinder here. Uh, look, that's some cedar bark. I've got some jute twine, char cloth, and stuff in this little bag. And I've got a striker and my H60 Beast. I believe that's what it's called. Um, another guy over on Bushcraft USA with a vendor forum sells these. And these things are amazing. This is the best fire cell I've ever used. As you can see, it's got a huge magnesium block right there fire still and then this is made out of hemlock so I mean in a dire situation you can shave off some uh, 
have some uh, shavings of hemlock, light those up. It's an awesome fire still. All right, close that up. In this other vault bag, I've got my first aid kit. In here, I've got some quick clot, uh, regular bandages, moleskin, um, antiseptic wipes, first aid, or uh, like neosporin, uh, calamine lotion, a little bit of duct tape. You know, it's pretty simple first aid kit. I've also got some aspirin, uh, heartburn medicine, stuff like that. And that's all I've got in my top pocket. And this is a very light loadout compared to what I was using. I took out quite a bit of stuff. All right, best thing about this half track is I love the way it loads. I've seen the Everly Stock G1 Little Brother, which is basically the same pack except smaller. And this top pocket goes straight down into the big one. And this one, it's got a separator in between, so you can't get into the main part of your pack through this top pocket. So we'll open this up. This backside is completely full of molly as well. All right, but in here, I've got, you can see it's got a shelf. You can take that, you can't take the shelf out completely, but you can see Velcro it and pull it back. But I've got my uh, Bushcraft USA 5x7 mess tarp with some uh, titanium Vargo tent pegs in there and some guy lines. I've also got, clipped in here in the back, my food bag. And I've just got basic random stuff in there. My favorite Nature Valley bar is the sweet and salty peanut. It's awesome. Uh, some oatmeal, some Starbucks, and I've got a uh, Trail Foods Recovery. They're chili. I've yet to try that out. Hopefully we'll be able to try that out soon. And this pack has an insane amount of organization in it. I'm hoping y'all can see all this. But in these side pockets right here, it's got individual pockets. I've got uh, some alcohol for my stove. In this one, I've got my Swiss Army knife and a big lighter. That's all that's in the top here. And then the bottom, like I said, more pockets, bigger pockets, obviously, because I've got my uh, backcountry titanium pot in one of them. I've got some bank line. I've got an emergency blanket. A life straw. And this is the lightest water filter ever. And if you're just going for day trips, I mean, it's great. If I happen to run out of water in my hydration system, I can just stop at a stream, you know straight out of the stream. What else do I have in here? I think that's about it, except for this bag, which in this bag I've got my headlamp, um, my Surefire flashlight, extra batteries, a cloth, and my wooden spoon. And I always eat with a wooden spoon because I hate the sound of metal touching metal. I can't stand it. All right, and that about does it. That's what's in my pack. That's the pack that I use. Actually, I've got one more thing to show you. And that's my kit bag. And I've shown this to y'all before when I did the Terra Humera video. But this kit bag usually always goes with me. Um, in this front pocket, I've got my Azula. It's a great little knife. I've got a little pin flashlight. I've got my compass. So it's in the front. Then we got a main pocket here. I've got little journals for land nav and then just field notes. Uh, I've got an extra camera battery and I have an extra spare magazine for my Springfield which usually goes in the concealed carry pocket in the back. And y'all seen that in other videos so I don't need to go over that too thoroughly. But that's my new loadout. It's light, it's fast, which is what I like. Um, if I alter this in any way, you know, if I go on an overnight and have different stuff in there, of course I'm going to go over everything with you in the overnight. Sorry, my two-year-old's a little excited back there. But um, I also carry my little tripod to hook this up on. Uh, it's on the big tripod now, but I always keep the little tripod in one of the side compartments. So that's about it. If y'all have any questions regarding anything, just let me know. And we will see y'all next time. Hopefully I'm doing an adventure either tonight or tomorrow morning, hopefully. But it's been ridiculously hot here lately, so. And I'm not a fan of heat, so we'll see how that goes. Take care. We'll see you next time, guys.